Jane Mansfield is a legend in Hollywood, even though she died tragically 25 years ago after making just a few movies. Jane and Marilyn Monroe were in competition for the sexiest woman in the world, and today for the first time, Jane's family breaks their silence and talks about her life and death. Bonnie Strauss with our report. Jane Mansfield, a heartthrob of the 50s, was a star created in Marilyn Monroe's shadow. And for a brief moment, she made it big. And like Marilyn, she died an early, tragic death. But Jane's death may have been woven into a satanic curse. She was born Vera Jane Palmer in 1933. And by age six, she announced she wanted to be a star. That's when she wanted to be a movie star. She, you know, I didn't, I didn't really take her seriously. We had a lot of fun about it, just talking about it. She secretly wed Paul Mansfield, a college student, when she was 16 and pregnant. These old home movies show Jane's domesticated side. Not long after the birth of their daughter, Jane Marie, the Mansfields moved to Hollywood so Jane could seek fame and fortune. For the first time, Paul Mansfield publicly discusses his ex-wife. Within about three or four weeks, she had uh, called City Hall, told him she was good looking, and uh, within uh, four or five weeks after our coming here, she had been chosen sight unseen uh, Miss Fire Prevention Week. Jane dyed her hair blonde and became a publicity hound. No assignment was too small. At one point, uh, the top of the bikini conveniently fell off or Jane untied it, who knows. But anyhow, the photographers got a shot. It was heard around the world. What do you think would have happened to Jane Mansfield had she been flat-chested? Uh, never, never would have made it. Because in the 50s was the era of the big bosom in Hollywood. By now, Paul was fed up and headed back to Texas. They divorced, but she kept his name. I decided that I just didn't want to be Mr. Janie Mansfield the rest of my life, and that's the way it looked like it was going to, to come out. Daughter Jane Marie stayed in California with her mom. Now 41, she agreed to talk to us in this exclusive interview. She was very ambitious, and she loved to be in front of the people. I mean, she loved it. She wasn't so private that way. I mean, she enjoyed going to supermarket openings or whatever it was and being this close to the people, her fans. Where have you been, honey? Two years after arriving in Hollywood, Jane snagged her first film role. After watching herself on camera, she said it was love at first sight. While Jane got good reviews, it was her astonishing measurements, 40, 18, 36, and her willingness to put her best I'm chest sure forward that made her famous. Well, Jane, anyway, thanks again. It was lovely having you up here, and I wanted everybody to see Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce, if you will please look at me... <laughs> While Jane burst quickly onto the scene, her fame was not limited to home. When she visited the troops overseas with Bob Hope, the guys went crazy. Jane marked her territory well. When Sophia Loren made her U.S. debut, Jane refused to be upstaged. The photographers were going nuts. They wanted Sophia alone, but every time Sophia posed, Jane was right there, and it became, you know, and Sophia couldn't tell her to get the hell out because she couldn't speak English. <laughs> Jane made a series of movies, along the way falling madly in love with Mickey Hargitay, a former Mr. Universe. They were the bodies beautiful. They lived in a heart-shaped world, a pink palace filled with babies. But the marriage unraveled after Jane publicly announced she was bored. She told the press before she told Mickey. What about her determination? Is, is she seemed to have fierce determination. When you were in her presence, she ruled the presence, and she, you, you, didn't, you didn't infringe on that. She kind of ruled it in a high iron, and it was her life, and we all were along for the ride, I think. Not long after Jane's divorce from Mickey, her career began to slide. She married and divorced again and could no longer get the good roles. She was not a good actress. And she depended on her physical appearance to uh, give her credibility. 
And that, when that goes, the whole thing goes. Stepfather Harry Pierce saw it coming. These slides show the good old days. Well, I, I always felt that Janie would have been better off if she'd have gotten married and settled down on a farm. That's what she liked. With all the little animals and mm -hmm. everything, because that's what she mm -hmm. loved. <laughs> but that was not to be. After three divorces, Jane would sometimes hook up with the wrong men, men like Sam Brody, a Beverly Hills lawyer. Mamie Van Doren, a fellow sex siren from that era, remembers seeing Brody and Jane at a party. Both, she says, were drunk. She had her chihuahuas in her bosom, and a couple of them jumped out, and she was trying to run chasing him, and she fell, and she tripped, and uh, what a mess. And so I helped her up, and so anyway, she got up, and she was, got in the car, and, and the last word she said to me, she said, maybe Jane, maybe Marilyn was lucky. Jane was obviously referring to Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> After that, Sam Brody, Jane's boyfriend, took her to meet this man, Anton LaVey, the head of the Church of Satan. What the world needs is a good whipping. LaVey put a curse on Brody, telling him he would die in a car crash within a year. He did, when his car going 80 miles an hour hit a stationary truck. Tragically, Jane was in the car. She died instantly. How did you find out? about her death. My aunt just walked up and handed me the headlines. That's how I found out. What did it say? It said Jane Mansfield decapitated. That's how I found out. It was kind of hard. Jane's mother talked publicly for the first time about a dream she had the night Jane died. Janie was talking to me. She was screaming. And I got out of bed at that time, two or three o'clock in the morning. And I said, Harry, something awful has happened. Hmm. And uh, the police came shortly after that with the newspaper uh, headlines, Jane Mansfield killed. Afraid of wrinkles and growing old, Jane Mansfield had talked about dying very young. She did, four days short of her 34th birthday. Well, Jane Marie says she wanted to go on camera to let the world know that despite the ups and downs of her mother's life, Jane Mansfield had a good heart.